May the peace of God be with you all. Shalom, 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 shalom. Mm. Shalom. As soon as you join, you want to invite somebody. Invite a friend. Invite a sister. Invite a brother. Invite somebody who is vital, who is of great importance to you to come and listen to this advice. Yes. Building a good relationship. Building a good relationship. Madam Susanna, you do well to share to the women ministry and the other WhatsApp group. Share for me so that they can get notification. And those who doesn't have uh, Facebook can watch us on WhatsApp. You share to the group for us. You do well to share to any group that you found yourself. Any group that you find yourself, yes, we need to talk. We need to talk. It's very, very important. Very, very important. Building a good relationship. Building a good relationship. Building a good relationship. Use two minutes to share to any group you find yourself. Anywhere that you can share, you do well to share and invite somebody to come and listen. Invite somebody, invite a friend, invite a lovely one, building a good relationship. Before I will go on, I want to use uh, two minutes of my time to advise my single ladies and my single guys. I will never left you behind. Nowadays, my time is not enough. I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time. So there are so many things I can't do. There are so many advices I don't have time to give to you. So the little chance I get, I have to make good use of it. My single ladies especially, stop <laughs> rushing into marriage. Stop rushing into relationship. Stop forcing yourself on men that doesn't love you. Men, you see, it doesn't matter how beautiful you are, how good you are, how responsible or hard, how hard working you are as a woman. You are not good for a man who is not ready for marriage. A man who is not ready for marriage. It doesn't matter how many times you apply your makeups. It doesn't matter how beautiful you are. He is not ready. Stop forcing yourself on people who are not ready. That are giving you broken hearts. That are putting tears on your eye. You can't even concentrate. You can't even focus. Because of a guy. He's not ready. When somebody doesn't love you, you can detect. Know that the person doesn't love you. And move on. Move on. Stop forcing yourself on people who are not ready for you. People who doesn't need you. You can testify the guy doesn't need you. If a guy doesn't want you all the time, you'll find ways to miss. You'll find reasons to drop your call. You'll find reasons. You'll find excuses not to communicate with you because you are irrelevant to him. Stop forcing yourself. In relationship, I keep telling you, if you are two girls and you are clashing on one man, be the wisest among the two of you. Be the wisest to take the final decision. Relax, stay back. If the man really belongs to you, the man will look for you. If the man is for you, if in your destiny, God has ordained or you are destined to be with that man, it is, there is nothing that can separate that man from you. There is nothing that can take that man from you. So just relax back. Sit back. And many of you, you've crashed on one guy. Two people and uh, two ladies and you've crashed on one guy. So you are doing all your best. Sponsoring. You are the one sponsoring the guy. You want the guy to know that, oh, you are responsible, my sister. You are fooling yourself. I must tell you the truth. Maybe the guy is showing... Or, or doing things because you have been sponsoring him. Maybe the girl that she lost, at the moment the girl is broke. The girl she lost, at the moment the girl can't buy so many things for him. That is why he is pretending like he loves you. When your money gets finished, there you will know. When your money is finished, 
when you no longer have money to buy that expensive things for him, then you know he doesn't love you. Then you know he doesn't love you. Don't be fooling around. Don't be forcing yourself on guys that doesn't need you. If they doesn't need you, move forward. Somebody is waiting at the back door. Somebody is waiting for that guy to drop you so that he take good care of you. Somebody is waiting in our in our in an in, in, in uh, our Ghanaian uh, language or our mother tongue. We say say obi 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 and to magufi and you obi ademono. The crowding that you think that it is so, so, so tired, it is so dirty, I don't like it. Somebody is waiting to use it to, 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 to dress to the stand that no, anybody that sees her or him will see that, oh, you are a model, you are this. This is how relationship is. Stop forcing yourself. If it doesn't last, you move on. It is dominion. It is dominion. <laughs> Move on. Don't struggle to build a relationship that is already broken. Don't struggle yourself to build a relationship that cannot even be, be, be repaired. It is already broken. Understand it. Move on. Move on. And she has been money that came. If been money that she came, what part here? Because major and I'm a boy. You you asking? You are going to exchange your soul. Because there are some ladies, they have vowed, they have vowed that I will never leave that man until death tears us apart. Are you ready to extend your soul before the sake of a man? Man is not a pillow. Man is not a pillow. Man is not a pillow to rely on. The same thing applies price to my guys. My guys, many of you are committing suicide because of a lady. Because of a lady. You see, the, the, the most foolish mistake you make is to go to prison or to die because of a woman. The most foolish, insane mistake you make is to die because of a woman. Or to go to prison because of a woman. Because there are so many women... Maybe the one you are forcing yourself, you are forcing, you are dying, you are killing yourself. Maybe there is somebody better than that lady. Look, check the fingers. And sat here away and your pet. You see, we have different sizes, different shapes of our fingers. Hold your fingers like this. For I was touching a camera and so and let me speak wisdom to you. Do your fingers like this. When you see the fingers. You see your, your, your fingernails, your fingers, they are not the same. The same applies to women. Some are small, some are medium, some are, uh, oh, you see, different, different. Let me speak to you. Maybe the lady you are killing yourself for is like this finger. Is this. Maybe the lady you are, you are, you sworn, I will go to prison for the sake of this lady. If, if I am supposed to die to, because of this lady, I will die. Maybe the lady is like this. We have another ladies who are like this. Another ladies who are like this. Another ladies who are like this. Why are you killing yourself for this one? If you understand these principles in life, you will let it go anything that doesn't hold up to you. Anything that you can't hold up to. Anything that you think it doesn't fit you. Don't force yourself because your parents are putting pressure on you. Don't force yourself because your mother is saying you are growing, you are growing. Oh, you need to get married. Don't let anybody push you into relationship. Because when you are stuck into that relationship, your family members are not there. When you are stuck, there is nothing your mother will do. The only word your mother will say to you is that the one that uh, any offense through him or her, that any offense will come. It's like that person will hang himself a millstone and go and drown in the sea. Don't force yourself in relationship that you yourself, you know you doesn't love the man. Don't accept any man to pay your bright pride. Why you yourself, you know truly in your heart, there is no love. Marriage is a great work. Marriage involves a great commitment. Marriage, there are so many things in marriage. So it, with love, with love, you can grow in marriage. 
But with that love, there is nothing that you do. Don't marry somebody that you think I don't love. I will never marry anybody that I think I don't love. For the sake of money, be taking me to abroad. You see, many of you, you are making a great mistake. Let me tell you. She was making a great mistake. Oh, eh, the man is in, in the States. The man is in UK. Even if I don't love him, I will allow him to pay my bride price. As soon as he takes me to the state, I will divorce him. Or I will divorce her. My sister, life is not governed by miracle. Life is governed by principle. I must tell you the truth. Anything you are doing today, it is going to wait for you in the future. And you are going to reap it. So things that you can reap it in your old age, in the evening of your day, don't sow it in the morning. Things that you can reap it. Things that you can reap it in the evening of your day. Don't sow it in the morning of your day. If you think you don't love me, don't, don't, don't chase me because of my wealth. Don't chase me because of my money. Don't chase me because of my fame. Don't chase me for any other thing. Chase me because you love me. Chase the woman because you love. Permanently. Divinely. Not on any condition. Don't marry any man or based on his wealth. Hey. Don't marry any man based on his popularity. Oh, he is the CEO of this. He is the managing director of this. He is the, uh, 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 the this, this, this. I'm just seeking for address. There are so many ladies that praise this man's set and chose a partner they have regretted. If you choose your partner because you need an address, my sister, you regret. If you are choosing a partner because that man, I need a worthy man that have an address. You can create your own address. You can create your own email. Do something that people will recognize you. You get your own address. Do something good. Don't do something bad. Oh. Many of you have gotten a negative address. This lady had a prostitute. The one that is fornicating on the media. The one that is exposing herself on the media. No man is ready to eat on covered food. No man, no legion, no king is ready to eat with vultures at the, at the refuse dam. Let me advise you. No legend, no king. Do you know how queens dress? Do you know how queens behave? If you want to marry a king, dress like a queen. If you want to marry a king, behave like a queen. If you want to marry a queen, behave like a king. Because no queen will marry a fool. No queen will marry a fool. It is only fools who, are, who chase money but not chase integrity. It is only fools who chase money but not chase integrity. We chase the integrity of men. Good reputation. Good reputation, good name, a good name that smell more than uh, that smells more than ointment. That is what queens chase. Any woman who knows where she is going will never chase for money. Any woman who knows where she is going will never chase for car, because the car that is in season, that is in season now. By the year five years, five years coming, that car will expire. The building, the mansion, the design that is in season as I'm speaking to you, by 10 years, 15 years, it will expire. So why should I chase property? That will expire. I will chase vision. Men with vision. If you chase men with vision, definitely they will praise you on television. If you chase men with television with that vision, you'll be in darkness. The same thing applies to my men today, my young guys. I don't know why the, the topic I brought has changed, but I want the Holy Spirit to speak to you people. Don't be chasing TV or television, women who are television. Chase women with vision, and they will praise you on television. Chase women with vision, not women who are interested in all the time moving to one shop right to the other. 
All the time spending unnecessary. Spending anyhow. Women who doesn't have vision. Women who are aimless. When you ask them what is your priority, they can't prioritize any good things for you. Don't chase such women. Who, they are the most beautiful, I must tell you. They are the most beautiful ladies, but they are without sins. Many of the most beautiful ladies are moving without wisdom. They don't have sense. When you read the book of Matthew chapter 25, it emphasizes two women, two categories of women. The wise and the fool. The wise and the fool. Many men, they chase beauty and they end in darkness. Many men, they chase wisdom. They chase vision and they end on the television. Yes. Yes. They chase what is at hand at the moment. I need a woman who can support me. I need a woman who can buy a car for me at the moment. Maybe your woman, your destiny ordained woman. The woman, the, the lady God has ordained for you. Help me to share this video. Let God touch your heart to help me to share this video. Any group, any WhatsApp, whatever you can share. Help me and God will bless you. Bless somebody with this video this afternoon. I will never keep long. Bless somebody. Don't be chasing what is at hand at the moment. When the money finishes, you regret. When the money finishes, you regret. That's why many of you ladies, that when I get one-on-one -on -one with you, I speak to you about what you are doing. Man, God bless you, Sandra. You are Shara. Madam Beatrice, my sister, share it for me. God bless you. Man, when you are sponsoring them, and you, if you not only men, everybody, when she, he or she is lying and honey is flowing through the mouth, definitely he will lick it and pretend that, oh, I love it. I love what you are doing, but there is nothing like love. Nothing like love. Nothing like love. There are so many attitudes that when you see today on a man, quit very fast. So many attitudes when you are dating a man and you see such attitude compared to your, your heart. If you can dwell in marriage, go on with that relationship. Many of you, mommy, I, got a, I, I have met a man, he said he loves me. Mommy, pray for me. I want to know if he's the perfect man. I am not a magician. Let me tell you the truth. I am not a magician. And maybe I don't know your character. Your attitude, maybe you are an aggressive person, and that man too is aggressive. How can two hot water meet? Definitely, one must be cold water. Definitely, one must be humble. So, if you are an aggressive type and you meet a man that is also aggressive, know that you don't, you doesn't crack. Two of you, both of you, you don't crack. Money shall let me explain in cheap because I want this message to go far. Ebiano wa shia be mebi wa shia o be bi wo be ma wo wo kokuo pa o ba no so wo kokuo mo ni shia o because e so shia mi enu wo timi fe ntwale definitely one must be cold and one must be hot in every relationship that we have partner we say these are the perfect men these are the perfect couples the perfect couples definitely one is acting as a fool in every perfect relationship that you see one is acting as a fool as a fool, because the one that is aggressive thinks she is wisdom, she is wise, she is with full wisdom. So the other partner needs to, 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 to submit, whether he's a man or a woman. In marriage, you see, sometimes we talk about submitment. The woman have to submit. Sometimes the man needs to. Sometimes the man needs to, because some of the women, we are aggressive. That is how God created us. We are not the only people who are aggressive. Moses the leader of the Israels, Moses, who got the chance to speak one on one with God, he was an aggressive person, a hot tempered person. So, being an aggressive is nothing different, it's nothing new, just that we need to have absolute control over it. So, what's the with me? Calm it down. So, maybe a man you've got married or you've already married, you didn't get so many counseling, you didn't get opportunity to be advised, you, you've already married. You've already married to a lady who is hot-tempered. Hot-tempered, an aggressive person. My brother, in order not to lose the marriage, sometimes calm down for the woman. It doesn't show anything. It doesn't change your reputation. It doesn't change how handsome you are. It doesn't change how, how godly you are. Being submitted to your wife doesn't 
change anything. When the woman is so, so, so aggressive, calm down. Calm down. Definitely, the anger will go down. Then you speak wisdom to the lady. You speak wisdom. There are so many occasions that we speak to our wife. When you are got married, when you are already married to a lady, I want to emphasize that because it will help you. It will help so many marriages that are in confusion. Many men of God, they are struggling. <laughs> they are fighting among themselves. The ladies, they, they, are, they are scared of being torn. The men, their trousers are torn because of struggling in marriage. Abandoning the two, another man, they are two. There is nothing like understanding. The unity is not there. The love is not there. There is no institution in this world that your Christian faith will be tested. From love to faith, faith to long suffering, long suffering to endurance. Yes, it must be tested. So if your woman is aggressive, know how to approach her when she is seriously misbehaving because some of us when we are angry how we misbehave it's like a lion is rolling it's like we want to crumble the whole world into pieces so mr man this is what you do don't talk just allow her let her spit anything on her heart. Many of the people that are aggressive until they are able to spit what is in their heart, they will never calm down. Let her. Allow her. Let her speak anywhere that she wants to speak. And when she is calmed, you pick the mistakes in the word, the way that she is speaking, all the words that through anger she is spitting. Get a pen. Write all. Oh, just relax. When she is okay, when she calms down, then you lay her head on your laps. Speak wisdom to her ears. Speak wisdom. Or maybe you are on bed with her. Wake up, her up around 3.30, around 3 o'clock. My dear, I want to have a word with you. I want to speak to you. Please, I want to speak to you. Speak the things that she's doing that you don't like. Alter. Voice out. My dear, you know we, we, we got married because we love ourselves. You know we are committed to be together. We've signed a bond. We vow to be together till death tears us apart. We can't run this marriage in this situation. We can't be doing this all the time. We can't be squabbling among ourselves all the time. No, we can't live like people who, who are enemies. We are lovers. We are lovers. Please, this, 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 this you did. Do not repeat it again. I love you from heart. There is nothing that you request that I will never do to you. Women, we are soft. The little words, sweet words. The reason why a younger guy, a younger guy can just use words to win the heart of a, a grown-up woman. We are soft. Speak wisdom. Speak wisdom. Get time to communicate with your wife. Get time to speak to her. And allow her to speak her worries. Maybe she's, she's, she's fed up. She's bad. Some people, they are demons. Oh. They are demons. They are Satan. They are demons. When I cross, I will just block you. If you do such a thing to me, I will just block you. Yes, because some people, as soon as they see you on life, they will cut, they, they will just call just to cut the broadcast. That is their assignment. But your, your suffering is uploading. It's still loading. <laughs> All those that have been doing that, uh, your suffering is loading. The right time will come. You inherit it. You see, in relationship, marriage is not all about sex. So. It is not all about sex. You can have sex now. After you finish the sex, devil of uh, just truth, even in the course of being, be, be, praying romance, your husband will touch your somewhere, you will touch your husband somewhere and he's angry and the, the problem will start. The problem will start. So in relationship, no, the devices the devil can use to break that relationship down. Every marriage, the devil's target is to cause so many relationship divorce, separation, to cause separation. So my younger ones, I think today I care for the married men and women, but the younger ones have inherited. I think we postponed it for the next, <laughs> the next time. My singles, young girls, young ladies, stop rushing, you know? 
Stop rushing! Sis, there is no expiry date for having sex. Go and ask your grandmother and your grandfather. Are they not still enjoying? They are still enjoying. They are still enjoying. Don't rush. Way to get the perfect man. Way to get the perfect woman. When you are with the perfect man, you don't fed up, oh. But when you are with a, in a wrong relationship, anytime you, you are finding ways and means even to get a funeral to attend. You don't feel comfortable at home. You don't feel happy at home. There is no joy. As soon as you get home, your wife is like a tiger. When you cross from work and you are coming, your, your wife is rolling at home. Your wife is rolling at home. Stop chasing people who doesn't love you. You end up regretting. You end up regretting. By that time you regret, you have two children. You have two handbags. Two handbags. When you are single lady, you can go to anywhere. Anywhere you can go. You want to go, you can go. But as soon as you get one trader, two trader, hey, you get two children. If you don't have a, a supportive parent that will help you to care for the children, or you are not from a wealthy family, then you can employ a nanny or a babysitter to sit with the baby to care for the children for you to go and walk or for you to go and work. Your life will tear into pieces. Because you can't leave the children. You can't go. The children are there. By the time you go, come. Either one has been electrocuted or one has, one has fallen into the wall. And the police will be chasing after you. Your peace, your joy will be taken away from you. Do not rush, oh. Do not rush. Let me use this uh, uh, opportunity to advise. That's my final advice. And we go. I will never keep long. And we go. The next day we shall meet. The next time we shall meet. The next time we shall meet. Let me use this opportunity to advise. Advise. Those who are chasing people's husband. Even to get your own husband. Sometimes it is something else. And the one that belongs to somebody. The time that you need that man, that man is enjoying with the wife. The time you need him, he's enjoying, so you'll be cheating. The reason why many side chicks or second wife, third wife, they can't be, they can't be faithful. Because their man, they don't have extra strength at this day, so. It is not in the olden days that men live 150 years. That they live 900 years. That they live 930 years. Then you say, oh, gone are the days. They marry young girls. Uh, they marry this. They do this. They do that. No, this time get your own. This time find your own man. Struggle to get your own. Stop chasing people's own. Because of property, they will give you car, they will give you property, but your joy is taken away. They will give you everything you have, but you can't win their heart permanent, uh, uh, completely, fully. They will divide it. Their love is divided. Have for the wife, have for you. The time you need, he say, I am with my wife and your heart. Many of you, you have, your BP is high. You've got it precious, diabetes. Because of people's husband, leave them alone. Look for your own. Look for your own. Start to establish your own empire. Your own empire. Even if the man is poor, do something with him. Do something. Start something with him. A working mother and a working father, definitely they are not going to end up in poverty. Definitely. A working, a hardworking man and a hardworking woman will never end up in poverty. No way. They can build something. You bring little, your husband bring little. You bring little, your husband bring little. Yes, you build something. You start something good. You invest. Couples learn to invest. Invest. Investment. Investment. Don't eat anything you get. All the salary you get, you'll be buying anytime you want to dress for people to know that you are the wife of Mrs. No. Show property sometimes. Let the, your investment Testify about you. Let your investment. You can't all the time be renting homes. You can't be renting houses. All the time, landlords have been uh, roaming on you, working on you, infringing on your rights. Why don't you think of building your own house? 
Why don't you think of investing to buy your own house? Why don't you go and put things together? If you used to eat meat, meat that is expensive, eat chicken, eat fish, and invest. Invest. By 10, 5 years of your relationship, you need to invest. You need to start building something. You need to start building your own house. Build your own house. Let it be your first priority. Let it be your first priority, Mr. Man. The money that you are giving to side checks, invest and build a house. Even if you don't, you even if you never live in that house, give it to rent. The money that you use, you give to side checks for them to go and pray their hair. Go to buy makeups, buy fancy things, invest in your wife. Just dwell with your wife. The money that you will give to side checks, put it in the bank. Put it in the bank. Invest. Just start building. When you build and even you have a place to sleep, give it as rent. Put the money there. In your old age, you see? You see we have some men, some old men, we call them akoprabaga. Ha, ha, ha. They never get old. When you are wealthy and you, you have less problem, you don't grow up early. The reason why you see so many wealthy men still looking cute, even at their old age, still looking heavy, still looking handsome, they don't have more problem. When you are surrounded, when you are burdened with thinking, you'll be thinking, 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 and easily your black hair will turn to gray hair. My country, we call it a journey. If you overthink, you get this gray hair in your head. That is why when we see many of our presidents, when they are being ordained, when they come to power, they have their black hair. Within two years, their hair have turned to gray, have turned to white. Yes, they are overburdened. Don't surround yourself with burdens. There are so many beautiful women, but your wife is beautiful. Invest in your wife. Invest in them. Your wife is pretty. Your wife is curvy. Because you don't see her beauty because she's overburdened. I keep saying this. When women are burdened, you don't see our beauty. But when you reduce some of the burden, when you take some of the load from them, you start seeing the beauty of your wife. Take her to the cosmetic. Dress her. Dress her. Take her to the boutique. Buy wares, very beautiful wares, and let her stand in the mirror. Use your phone to take picture. Compare to that side check that you are chasing. Compare. You just compare your wife that has given birth to three, four children to the side check that hasn't given birth without makeups. Compare her without makeups. You see that you, oh, my wife, I congratulate you. You've done well. You've given birth. You've given me four kids. Still, you are still looking cute. I am a mother of three. Don't I look cute? I look cute. Yes, because I am taking good care of myself. I am investing on myself. I love myself more than any other person who love me. I will not wait for somebody to come and tell me I love you. I myself, I love myself. We call it self-esteem. Sometimes stand in the mirror, my sister. Just turn around, turn around. Oh, and congratulate yourself. Ah, ah, precious, you are looking good. You are looking good. God, you have done a great thing. You have done well. I am looking good. Do not de de uh, how do you say it? Uh, make your uh, like. Don't let anything make you feel inferior. Like oh, I am nobody. I am nobody. Me, I don't deserve. Oh, I, you deserve it. You deserve any good thing on this earth. Nobody is better than you. We are all dust. Nobody is better than you. Don't let makeups make you look inferior because somebody has applied makeups. Let that person wash the face and wash your face, your natural face and that person's natural face. You will see who is chimpanzee. If anybody insults you that you are a chimpanzee, tell that person, wash your face. Take off the makeup and I will take off my makeup. You will know who is chimpanzee. Take off that wig in, on your head. Take off that Brazilian hair on your head and rock in your natural. And let's take picture. Let's snap picture. And compare who is that chimpanzee. Some people, when they apply their makeups, first foundation, second foundation, third foundation, with their acronic, with all the dating, they are high class. They are nothing. They are nothing. Visit them early in the morning and see them. Early in the morning. 
when they are looking natural like me, go and see. You will see something different. You will see something different. They are hiding under something. Let me use this opportunity to advise my young men. Any woman that you haven't seen her natural face, do not pay her bright pride. Don't pay the bright pride of any woman that you haven't seen the, the rare face. Some of them, their face are surrounded with skin pigmentation. Pigmentation. Nails who obey are for many women, so all the time they cover out with makeups. How long, for how long can they rock in makeups? Open while you may be by two, three years. No, a barber, what? No one knew when I was such a sister in Kalankala. Let them wash the makeups. Draw them naturally. If anybody is in makeups, my brother, visit that person early in the morning. Go there, go knock on the door. Let her appear naturally and see who you are you are dying for. See who you are dying for. Your your natural woman in the house. She's not in makeup, she don't love makeups, so you don't see her as beautiful. My man, don't make this mistake. Do not make this mistake. <laughs> Do not make this mistake. Wise up. God bless you. If you haven't shared, share. Next time we shall meet. We are going for afternoon prayers at Zoom. Meet me right now. The Ghanaians, the Ghanaians, God willing, maybe tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon, we will have all our global meeting at Zoom. All our global fans, our global viewers, we will be meeting at Zoom. We will be meeting at Zoom. The ID is 270-363-7872. 270-363-7872. Many of you that you have dreamed that you don't understand. Tomorrow, I will use that opportunity one-on-one. -on -one. It is just one-on-one. -on -one. We are going to have a personal conversation. Anything that is bothering you, we want to know ourselves. We will be meeting at Zoom. At Zoom. Uh, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. GMT. 1 p.m. GMT. In the afternoon, our global meeting. Try to be there. If you don't have the Zoom app on your phone, this afternoon from here, go and download the Zoom app. I will place the link in our midnight prayers. I will place the link on top of the video. So you just click on the link and you join us at Zoom. God willing, tomorrow afternoon. Uh, my year is afternoon, yes. Uh, 1 p.m. GMT. Wherever you are connecting us from, you do well to convert the time so that you can catch us on time. God bless you. I love you all. I love you all. Bye-bye.